the report that comes back is often dozens of pages, typically 50, 60, 80 pages. Uh, but the key information is usually just on the first two or three pages. And it is very reasonable to ask for a copy of those pages or at least to discuss the key findings with your oncologist. But I'd also like to clarify and calibrate expectations because it's important to note that while it is great to find a driver mutation for which we have an effective therapy, not everyone is going to have that. And it's not, it's not realistic to expect that every cancer has a, a pill that can treat it. Uh, I would say that a significant minority, somewhere in the range of 30 or 40 percent of lung cancers today have a targeted therapy, but not all are ideal for first treatment. Some are for second line or later. Uh, and it is important to, when you review results with, an, uh, with your oncologist, to clarify whether the uh, resulting, whether if there is a driver mutation identified, whether the treatment is like EGFR or ALK, one that has a very effective first line treatment that is the leading choice getting started, or whether it's something like a KRAS G12C mutation that is uh, useful and has a pill-based therapy, in fact, a couple now uh, that are choices, but they are not generally prioritized as first line and would be given second line or later. And also to understand that uh, your oncologist may explain that there was no driver identified or that any mutations that were seen are not clinically relevant. And there are often many of these that are listed as things that have been found, but they don't have a treatment associated with them. Uh, and that is a realistic possibility, if not probability. Sometimes these reports will have a listing of, well, you could try this trial or this investigational approach that has worked in a different cancer type based on an animal model. But it would be a mistake to interpret that as evidence to favor this over a more established option. So it's important to work with your oncologist to clarify which treatments have true, effective, proven therapies, which may be good for a trial, and which are just kind of rabbit holes to avoid going down and favoring standard treatments instead.